Um, yeah, just on that one, you know, what uh, I've looked at since the start of this year is, uh, you know, players showing form, good form. That was one of the big criteria that uh, I've used. And at this point in time, after Super Rugby, Ruan hasn't played any rugby for Contessa Lioness. You know, he's been there for three games and he hasn't started any game. So it, it makes it difficult. And I burnt my fingers last year when we had players coming from France. Uh, in the inbound series and we spoke about their conditioning and we spoke about their fitness level so we at a crucial stage of uh, our campaign at this point in time maybe not to be in the race to win it but uh, we still in have two important games to finish second and uh, an important home games to to end well and uh, you know for me it, it, it if the player doesn't play. How, how do we expect the player to perform coming from, from that? Uh, and I've coached in Japan myself. Do you respect from, from club rugby to make that step up in, in, uh, in, 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 in at national level? There's one thing of understanding and knowing how a player played a year ago and six months ago or three months ago and, and the condition the play is at present. And, and, and for me, um, uh, following all our players playing abroad, very, very closely, because I've, I've learned that lesson last year. The difference, obviously, is I've, I've got Hanre with the coaches in our coaching team, training here with us, putting in extra sessions with us, and, uh, and, and he's up to speed with our technical and, uh, uh, ability and game plan and where this team want to go. Look, this is the first time this year that we have this group really together for six, seven test matches, and continuity is an important thing. It does play a part as well in terms of, uh, uh, you know, what we've gone through. Uh, we've had a substandard game. We, we, we're not proud of, of, of the last game, uh, but we've put that behind us now. You know, we've uh, sort of buried the Albany uh, game and we're busy with the turnaround strategy. And we've, we, we got together last night. We spoke about it as management team. That was the first meeting. Uh, second one, the, the leaders obviously and the coaches have been together after uh, after the game so we disappointed obviously uh, ourselves and uh, and and our supporters and we would like to turn it around and make sure that we get it right well obviously uh, all the players playing overseas who have played more than uh, 50 games to qualify will be part of the plans yes a run <laughs> could be possible could possibly be part of the plans if he performs and he plays well and I've got feedback and not guess and not hope that he if he's showing form good form and he plays uh, the reality is players based overseas cannot play the last game against Welsh, uh, Wales for us, uh, the Welsh test because that's outside the season but yes he, he's still part of the plans going forward